Mario Meets Kirby by Daniel Something. Well, as usual, Mario was traveling to Bowser's Fort and felt creepy about just going there and facing Boom Boom, and then working his way past Bowser's Fort into Wario's woods. On the way, Mario got way off course and happened to stumble into Dreamland, where Kirby was facing Wispy Woods. And just when Wispy was almost defeated, Mario threw a hammer at him and Kirby won. Mario grabbed the Star Rod, thinking that the star on top was a Star Man, but just as Mario had almost lost Kirby... Kirby got the fire ability and torched Mario until he gave Kirby the Star Rod, and to pay for all the mischief, 12 Maxim tomatoes and 3 pep drinks just for storage. I don't know. But Mario said, what are pep drinks and Maxim tomatoes? Kirby replied, what are pep drinks and Maxim tomatoes? What are you going to ask me next? What is candy? No, said Mario. You see, I come from the Mushroom Kingdom, not Dreamland, but I do know that candy is a sucker or something like a large coin on a stick. No, wait, isn't it one of those chocolate flavors? Oh, don't you understand anything here? No, said Mario. Well, said Kirby, we'd better get out of here first because I have the feeling that DDD is spying on us, so I suggest that I go get some candy and you leave the Star Rod pieces alone. Then Mario and Kirby set off towards the place where they had first met, Vegetable Valley. Finally, Kirby and Mario had arrived in Vegetable Valley, and as they stopped for a rest, DDD came to the spot where they were napping and captured the two travelers. Kirby woke up and found out that he and Mario were tied up. Kirby had gotten Crash in case of emergency and used it to penetrate the ropes and knock out DDD, although he was asleep, then escape and move on towards Wario's woods and finally got there but found themselves tied to the wall. Although Kirby was quite tired out, he managed to escape thanks to his round shape, fly to the throne room and throw Wario onto Yoshi Isle just to slow him down, although some Koopas flying ones of course brought Wario back to the throne room. Kirby had been so busy trying to get rid of Wario that he had forgotten to free Mario and give him some of a star man, which Kirby found lying around the floor and damaged Wario. As they fled, they met Yoshi. Kirby tried to kill him, but Mario said that Yoshi was a friend and was there to help them free Princess Toadstool. Yoshi asked Mario to hop on, and Kirby flew. Although Yoshi couldn't swim, he still got a blue Koopa shell and flew across most of the water. Then Yoshi left. Kirby froze most of the enemies, including the Koopas and Wario. Then they went to the Mushroom Kingdom and had a huge lunch with Luigi and Princess Toadstool. The end.